Hey guys, my name is Batsumio, and today I want to go over some advice on how to play as Valkyrie in Rainbow Six Siege. She has quickly become my favorite operator hands down when I'm playing on defense. I love her playstyle, she's a hell of a lot of fun, but I notice that when other people get their hands on her, they do some pretty weird things with her cameras. Maybe I just don't understand their genius, but placing down four cameras in the objective room is a bit of a head scratcher. And so what I wanted to do today is go over some things that I think about when I'm placing down cameras that have really helped we succeed while playing as this operator. And so first of all, you want to play Valkyrie as a roamer. You could sit on the objective like every other operator, but if you want to get the most out of her, I really do think that you need to roam around the map after you place down all of your cameras. The reason why I think this is that her cameras make it incredibly easy for you to get flanks off. As soon as you realize where the enemy is heading towards the objective, you can kind of peek that around that corner when they're not looking, catch them by surprise, get a couple of headshots, and then run away, and then rinse and repeat. You're the hunter here. They may be on offense, they may think that they have the upper hand with their high-powered assault rifles, but you're the one with all the knowledge, and you can take advantage of that if you place down your cameras appropriately and just ruin the enemy team. It's for this very reason why she is my favorite operator right now. It's because of her cameras and that roaming potential. Uh, as for her cameras, there are a couple things that I take into consideration when placing these things down on the map. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to predict where the enemy is going to be breaching on in. I know this may not be possible in every single situation, there's a lot of guesswork here, but if you have an idea that an enemy is going to be breaching through a window, don't place your camera in the line of sight of said window. Yeah, if you're looking at that camera as soon as they breach on in, you're going to have an idea of where they are, but instead of giving them a clear line of sight of that bright blue camera, they're going to immediately take it out as soon as they breach on in, why not just place it above said window? That way you can still see everything in that room, you're going to know exactly when they breach on through, but it's going to be much more difficult for them to acquire the camera and know that it's there, which of course is going to give your team a massive advantage. Another thing I think about is optimizing how many angles and lines of sight I have on different hallways. If you wanted to place it down in one corner, you might get a great view of the room, and that's going to be great. But let's say there was another corner that you could have placed it in that gives you the same view of the room, but also allows you to see down the stairway or up the stairway or down a different hallway. That's probably going to be the better spots. And while I realize that this may contradict rule number one, there are some amazing camera placements, but they're also very obvious to anyone that is halfway observant to their surroundings on offense. If you're able to meet these two requirements though, place your camera there like 99% of the time. Your team is going to love you, you're going to love yourself, because not only is it going to be very challenging for the enemy to just identify where the camera is, but it also gives you loads of information. Another thing I find to be very helpful is don't worry about where the normal cameras are situated and don't let that be a restriction for where you place down your own cameras. Right now everyone knows where the normal cameras are in Rainbow Six Siege and as soon as they enter into a room they're going to shoot it out because they don't want you to have that knowledge of where they're situated. And so if you put your own gadget into that room they're going to think that they're relatively safe or that you don't have eyes on them and that's when you're going to be able to swoop on in and catch them by surprise. And then finally you're going to want to surround the outer rooms around the objective with your gadgets. One sort of mistake that I see some Valkyries make is that they'll run away and then place their, their camera a mile away from the objective. And while in some situations this can be great, if for whatever reason the enemy team randomly stumbles across that part of the map, you can get some nice kills that way, but a lot of the times those cameras go to waste because no one's ever there. And while I know that for a lot of people they're like, well, duh. You, you would be surprised how often I see this occur right now in Rainbow Six Siege. And so, if you want to get the most out of your cameras, place them around the outer perimeter so that when the enemy eventually makes their way towards the objective, and they will because they're on offense and they want to win the round, you're going to get the most use out of her gadgets. Uh, there are other small things that you can consider, like placing this down on uh, darker surfaces so that it's harder to spot. You can also throw this outside of the arena when the match starts, but the one thing that you should live by is that if you are on a team with Valkyrie, do not spot. Stop spotting with her cameras. The reason why they're so good right now is because the enemy has no idea that they're in a room with a camera. That gives you an insane amount of information, and unless you're coordinating with your teammate to have them fire through a wall, there's never going to be a situation where you need to spot. Use your microphone, use your words, because as a Valkyrie player, it's incredibly frustrating when your teammates start to use their cameras in that fashion. The enemy freaks out, they realize it's there, and you no longer have that incredible 
incredible tool at your fingertips. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any tips or advice on how to play Valkyrie appropriately, let everyone know down below. This is not the end all be all. This is just some things that I've learned over this last week that I have found to be very helpful. But if you have any tips or tricks that you find to be even more advantageous, let everyone know down below. We're all learning, I'm still learning, and so if you have any advice, let everyone know down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy. Thank you.